what's going on you good looking gamers and welcome to today's video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to the Apex Legends Season 7 Ascension gameplay trailer. So my predictions for this is that we're going to see Olympus, uh, some of Horizon's abilities because we've not really known anything about Horizon or, except for the gravity lifts. If you haven't used the gravity lifts, do your challenges, you've got, what today is Friday, you've got, you've got five days to do it. So you can actually have a mess around with the gravity lifts. Also, we're going to see the Trident as well, hopefully. Want to see how that works. First vehicle in Apex. Really excited for that. Also, the Battle Pass. Hopefully we get to see some Battle Pass skins in there. Um, for predictions, I'm hoping we get a Revenant skin. A Revenant skin would be nice. We've not had a Legendary Revenant skin. Um, a Loba skin would also be quite nice. Or the, and I was going to say Rampart. Or a Crypto skin as well. We've, they're, they're all uh, legends that have not got Legendary skins yet. Um, I don't think we'll get a legendary skin for Horizon just yet because of how new she is. But for Revenant, Loba, Crypto, any of those, please respawn. Throw us a legendary skin. Also clubs as well. I want to see how clubs work. But anyway, enough waffling from me. Let's watch this thing. We'll do an analysis at the end. Oh, uh, before we start, uh, let's uh, put my uh, resolution up. So let's put it let's put it on at least 720, you know? So it's like picture quality, you know. So oh let's have a look. Oh they knew that the new controls. Oh let's see these land. Let's have a wee play with the laws of physics, shall we? Whoa! Whoa! I'm actually gonna turn this up a bit. Oh my god! What the hell? Respawn Entertainment! EA! That is Olympus! This gravity defying utopia was my home. What? But time. Bangalore skin! Take away the things you love, is that Wingman skin? And Olympus was no exception. The the no, that's a post. One that poses a complex problem to solve. Here I go. But you know the thing about science is. Sorry, friend. Sometimes she can be a wee bit violent. What? New battle pass! Oh my god, what is that? That's a new Octane skin? A new raid skin? R99! The R99 is the reactive skin! New clubs! My squad's gonna beat up your squad. How does that work then? New map Olympus! Oh my god! Look at that! I expect Ooh. the results of this will be utterly delightful. Oh, and here's the trident. Introducing the trident hover car. What? Oh my god! That is dope! You can put traps on the things? Oh, new legend! Oh, the gravity lift. What's a black hole actually do? Let's put that theory to the test. A new team. Season seven ascension. Oh. I made a promise. I intend on keeping it. Oh! Season seven ascension coming November fourth. Anyway, let's go rewatch that. We're gonna do some analysis right now. So. Let's do some analysis. So we've got this shot over here. This is a nice shot of Olympus. So we've got this like kind of tunnel area down here. And that leads into this like kind of area here. Got like a thunderstorm going on over here as well. So we cannot, there's tornadoes in the background as well. There's a little park over there. Some little like hills, like slopes down here. Um, so this is the new season six contrail you'll get if you got to Pred, my guess. So got some banners over here. Is that like a skate park over there? What's that? My voice cracked. What's that? So that's that's interesting. So let's we'll keep watching this. Ah, so here we go. This looks to be a skate park. So this seems to be some kind of skate park area. Um, this looks like some big tunnel, like some big kind of tunnel that you can kind of go through. It says Phase Runner. 
So later on, they actually go through a giant uh, phase portal. Um, I wonder if like that's kind of like fast travel, and you can kind of like go from this. So like you can go from phase. So I'm like, let's let's call this place skate park for now. So you can go from like skate park all the way to like the park, like down here. So that's interesting. So we see them all come down. Oh, hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, let's let's rewind that a little bit. Let's rewind that. What's this? What's this down here? There's a little circle here. I don't know what this is. And we'll find out on a Wednesday. I don't know what that is. Let's see. So they start landing at this phase runner area. So Horizon lands. Okay, so Pathfinder goes to this area and then we have a Mirage over there. The physics, shall we? Okay, so there's a big phase tunnel here. So then you go through, and then it takes you to this area. I don't know where this is on the map. Again, new map. Don't know what this place is. So, okay. Okay, so she throws off a gravity lift. and the, So that obviously takes Mirage up, and so he can cross the fences. So that's actually going to be real good for flanking and stuff. And then she starts shooting down there. So the Evo seems to be the same. Looks like they're keeping the Evos. The but resting, resting the... Uh, ri uh, ripping the chat body armor. There's a grenade over there. That explodes. And now we're over here. What's this area? So if we have a look. Take the jump pad. Ah, this is the skate park from before. Right, so this seems to be the skate park. And then Crypto gets unfortunately sniped. This appears to be this giant dome area. So if you guys haven't saw the stories from the Outlands or the thingy or the launch trailer, you'll see this uh, giant dome. This giant, this giant like black dome. This seems to be what's inside. And then, uh, this seems to be a finisher for Horizon. Respawn Entertainment. EA. So, here's a nice shot of Olympus right now. So, this is the, uh, the, the little dome I was telling you guys about. Um, this is Olympus right now. Gotta say, hats off to Respawn. Uh, did a very good job. Looks absolutely stunning. Um, but let's keep going. Okay, so this is the uh, the dome area. So, don't know what this place is. So, there's this giant dome. You go in, and my guess is that there's low gravity. Or something. Kind of like the rift zones from Fortnite, if you guys know what those are. Or like the... Not the, the rift zone. The uh, in, If you guys remember, like, from Season 6 of Fortnite. Chapter 1, at least. You know how the cube would put down these, like, kind of, like, low grab zones? I think it's, like, kind of one of those. And you see this giant ball in the middle. Don't know what that is. But, um... Sorry if I'm speeding on. Uh, there's a lot to unravel here. So, um, yeah. So, we've got that. So, this seems to be like this, like, energy area. So, this seems to be the center of the map. We've got the snow area. Is that beacon a hotspot? Could be a hotspot. Okay, so this is a new area. This is uh, some area right here. So, bang. So. This is a new Bangalore skin. So we've got Rampart down here. Sorry for the blurry Rampart image, but I don't think that's a new skin. But this is definitely a new Bangalore skin. We've not seen this before. It can um, take away the things you love. Is, that's from the aftermarket event, that skin. Too slow on the draw. And Olympus. So crafting, actually, let's head back a little bit there. Crafting seems to be the same. The crafting still seems to be on Olympus, and they're not going to vault crafting. Didn't think they were, but uh, let's see. Olympus. So we've got this little bit here. Doesn't seem like that's a new course. No okay, so I don't think that's just a finisher. So we've got Caustic here. I don't think that's a new Crypto skin. We've got... That, that's not a new Loba skin. It all ends the same way. Um, so this is like some kind of like big reactor area. Okay, so it says estates up here, so that could be a new area, estates, and it says oasis down here. So we've got oasis and estates, they could be new locations. So I think that's the Bangalore skin we've already got in the game. I think that's already in the game. I have this Spitfire skin. Wait, who's, who is that no shooting at? Who was that who's actually shooting at? Okay, so this is some kind of autumn area. We see a black hole down there, and we've got a Gibby airstrike. Again, not too sure what the black hole's gonna do. My guess is it sucks people up. 
But they didn't really show it off what it really did. But um, So they've got a Gibby airstrike on this area. So we've got this giant tunnel again. Seems like it comes out here. Like right over here. And then you come down here. And then you get to go to this little autumn theme park. That's just my guess. Um, we've got a jump tower down here as well. So let's see this go. Okay, so we get a little bit of a close up. That's the Twitch Prime Bloodhound from Twitch Prime skin Bloodhound. That was from a I think it was September. This is this a new Watson skin? I don't know. That, that, is that a new Watson skin or is that from the Black Market event? I actually don't know about on that one. Uh, so we've got a Horizon up here and we've got a pylon. Seems like they're keeping the pylon thing. Um, okay. So, Bloodhound just got shot. Yeah, that's the uh, the dynamite one. Okay, what's it say there? Autumn. So, it seems like Horizon's doing some finisher there. Warp travel. Explore new horizons. What's warp travel? There's warp travel up there. Uh, let's go back because it said something about an autumn travel. Autumn is luxury apartment. Oh, autumn estates. Ah, right, okay. This is gonna be this so this is the estates area. Then so we've got Pathfinder here. Please buff Pathfinder by the way. So he grapples up and hits a nice shot here. Um Sorry friend. On a uh, Octane. Is this skin coming back? Is the um what's the name of it? Was it like Diablo? No, not Diablo. I don't know what it was called, but there's this um, skin that's really rare. It was released in season one. Is that coming back? Sometimes she can be a wee bit. Okay, so we're back to this orb thing. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. We'll find out soon. Violent. Violent. So, hang on a minute. Let's let's get back a little bit. It says Hammond over there. So did Hammond have to do anything with it? Violent. New battle pass. So we have a new Octane skin. Oh, it's your time. New Octane skin. That looks kind of cool, actually. And we have this new Wraith skin here. No Wraith skin. No, it's my... Actually, let's put it on 1082. Make a fight. Okay, so this is a new R99 skin, uh, R99, and by the looks of things, the R99 is back in the floor loop, because as we can see here, there's no digi threat, and this is definitely an R99, um, so this is the level 100 R99 skin, so, yep, R99 is going to be the level 100 skin this time around, and I think the Prowl is going to be the level 1 skin. So then, yeah. So this is a co um, okay Wraith skin. So we've got this Wraith skin. I don't... Looks okay. New clubs. So I don't really understand how this works. So how does this work? So we've got... I don't really understand this. They'll probably have like this big blog post about this. This is probably just an example. I don't know how this is going to work. But we've got clubs. squad. And then they show this. New map Olympus. Okay. Let's go back a little because that was a lot to process. Okay, so this is a new area here. Looks like some waterfall area. Uh, Hammond again. Um, and then we've got the warp travel again. This is probably the portal thing. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it looks like a PS5. <laughs> it looks like a PS5. We're going to call this the PS5 building. Um, so we've got a building over here. Uh, zip line down here. It looks like a respawn beacon down there. Um, don't know what's over here. But um, let's play a little bit more. Okay, so we've got like... This seems to be Arcadia. So I think this is where the rocket landed. Because uh, the rocket actually had Arcadia on it. Um... This seems to be an air, a docks area, because it says here, down docks. Central turb, uh, does that say central turbine? It's a central turbine down there. Um, 
What else have we got? Um, we've got some buildings here, some bit of cranes like the ones we've got on World's Edge. Um, but aside from that, nothing really here. What? What? We missed something there. Oh, okay. Now we've got to be real careful. Okay. Okay, well, we've got to be, like, super duper careful when we get that, so. Okay, so that looks like to be some kind of engine. I know we can't get it up. Oh, here we go. Uh, this seems to be some kind of, like, engine area. Um, oh, no, wait, these are drop pods. If you haven't played Titanfall, these are drop pods. Um, so we've got drop pods over here. Um, so is this like some kind of like airship and then just kind of like shoot soldiers down from the bottom? We'll have to see. I think this is the room that Horizon was in. We can see like a little uh, crafting bit. So we see the bit where Horizon uses the, uh, the gravity lift to shoot Mirage up. I think it's this room here. Let's play again. Um, that room that we could, we always got there. Um, uh, if I can get it. If I can get it. Yep, yeah, here. So this seems to be some kind of docks area again. We've got like another zip line over there. Um, and then we've got that giant f tunnel that says phase runner on it. Um, this seems to be some area again, docks area. Um, and then this seems to be just some... Is, this, is that water? Is that water down there? I don't know. Is that water? I, I can't tell. So we've got some... Uh, this is like some area. I don't know what these are. This is like the oasis area. This could be the oasis. Ah, okay. So we got uh, a little bit of water. So this is a bit of sewage. This probably could be the sewage. And then we've got uh, Bloodhound and Loba running down. Okay, we've got gravity. I expect the results of this will be utterly delightful. And here's the trident. Introducing the trident hovercar. We're taking this ride for a spin. I love these things, amigo. Okay, so basically you can put... Uh, traps on them. So we can put um, a corset trap, Gibby Dome Shield, and a Sheila. That's actually kind of cool. You can put like different traps on it. Okay, so Rampart just got massively buffed with the trident. Like, you can just put Sheila on the trident, and you can just like kind of rain down lead without using any ammo, which is sick. That's kind of cool. If she ha okay. Also, we need to give Sheila some skins as well. We need to get some Sheila skins. Put in the comments if you think Sheila should get some skins as well. Okay, we've got some banners up there. Is that a new Octane skin? Looks kind of different. Could be a recolor. So we've got this, like... Actually, Gibby's going to be kind of OP because you can't actually shoot the trident. Okay, but then, you see, Horizon throws an arc star and immediately disables the car. And then it falls down. New Legend, so this is Horizon. Okay, so we can throw a gravity lift, and that kind of like elevates us up. And then she throws a black hole. It I actually don't know what the black hole does. I don't know what the black hole does. It, she can just throw it. My guess is it just sucks people in and does a bit of damage. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's the, it for the trailer, by the looks of things. Uh, let's go to EA.com. We're going to see what else we've got. Hey okay, guys, we're on the website. Um, doesn't really look anything new. Hit the clubs. Hit the clubs. So that's updated. Let's see what it says here. Join a club in Season 7. Okay, so here we go. Clubs. Clubs are a new social feature that makes it easy to build a community and squad up for battle. More than just a secondary friends list. Clubs are a way to keep in touch with your club mates, see what they've been up to, and send club-wide party invites. If you don't already have companions to call up with, you'll be able to search for clubs that's right for you. Okay. At the launch of Season 7, there will be a new tab in the lobby, aptly labelled Clubs. Uh, visiting the Club tab, when not already a member of a club, will give you two options. Find a club or create a club. There's also a handful of clubs to put on display, if, in case... Um, you're looking to join well haven't identified what makes the perfect club yet let's talk about creating a club creating clubs he actually named one the six four respect respect uh 
Okay. Cho okay, let's see. Choosing a choosing to create a club means filling out the following options. Name. It's uh, your club name. 16 characters. Must be unique as well. A tag, a four character shorthand for your club that will be visible to squad mates during match. Logo, a sweet symbol to show how awesome your club is and they'll be great that you will agree every time you visit the club lobby. Privacy settings, if this controls how people how people can join your clubs, clubs can be made to be open to public, restricted to how many based on the account level or highest rank by request where users have to apply to join and by invitation only. Invite only clubs do not appear in the search results. Search tags. Choose up to five of the search tags we've provided that best describe what kind of club you want to own. Is your club relaxed, friendly, or down to play anything? Or maybe you're deep into rank, the, that rank grind and need a team that works and communicates well. Tag your club accordingly. It's worth keeping in mind that your club's crossplay settings will match your own. If you disable crossplay, only users that have also disabled crossplay will, will be able to find and participate in your club. Clubs are bound to the data center that the owner has, was on and that the club was created. Or this way, all the club members should have similar ping when grouped up. And you won't find clubs from other data centers unless your list is, uh, unless you connect to that data center, you can. However, receive invites from clubs. Ha where, 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 I can't speak today. Anywhere and join them, regardless of data center. So basically what that's saying is that you can, you can only really join clubs region specific. So... Say, for example, I live in Asia and I want to essentially get a bunch of people in the Middle East. Oh, wait, no, that was a bad example. Um, I'm in Asia and I want to get a bunch of people in Australia. I could only be able to create people with uh, Asian players. And if I wanted to get um, Australian people, I would have to create, uh, I'd have to create um, a club on Oceana service. That's basically what that's saying. Um, so, searching for clubs. If you don't want to run your own club, then maybe searching a club is more your speed. By hitting the search for clubs button, in the club tab, you'll be able to search by name, tag, privacy perimeters, um, and search tags. So, there's an image. If a club is open, then or restricted, you may meet the requirements. Joining is just a couple of clicks or taps away. However, if the club is joinable by request, you'll have to submit a request for entry. The owner and the admins of the club will be able to review your request by seeing your gladiator card before determining whether or not to dis accept you. Invite only clubs cannot be searched for. Okay. Participating in a club. Once you've joined or once you've made or joined a club, your club tab will become your new club lobby. All club members will have access to the member list where you can invite individuals to party up, or broadcast an invite to everyone online via the invite all to party button. The timeline is a space where you can see recent events within the club, such as people joining or placing within the top five within a match. Okay, that's cool. Chat is pretty straightforward. You've, you now have a dedicated space to chat with your club. That's good. Okay, so club member and ranks. This is actually real cool. Okay. Okay, to make managing a club easier, the, manage, the club owners will assign member ranks. Each rank will include the abilities of the rank beneath it in, in hierarchy. Club, members, club member ranks are as follows. Grunt, this is your entry rank. Grunts can send and receive party invites from club mates and participate in chat. Okay, so Grunt's kind of like you just, I'm in the club kind of thing. Captain. Captains are the club's talent scouts. In addition to the Grunt's capabilities, captains can send invites to, to prospect members. That's cool. Admins. Admins are the junior version of the owner. In addition to the captain's abilities, admins can kick Grunt and captains out of the club, change the club settings, post an announcement, view complaints filed against the club members, and promote Grunt's to captains. Owner. Created by default, the owner can do everything the admins can, plus promote users up to admins and click, kick anyone out of the club. There can only be one owner per club. There are multiple of 
that but there are there can be multiple of every rank if you want your, all your friends to be admins promote them all do that as mentioned that users can be kicked out of clubs by sometimes a user might wait until they're in a match or until no admins are around to cause trouble to make sure that the owner and admins know that you're you've run a pro into a problematic crewmate clubmate sorry not crewmate we're not playing among us um you are able to file a complaint against the user in the, from the club lobby. A unique event will appear only to admins and uh, an owner in the timeline. To let them know a complaint has been filed, and the admins can review and and the admins can review all the complaints a player has received by viewing the dead details in the member management menu. The list of complaints is placed conveniently close to the kick button. So you know, be on your best behavior, please. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Okay, admins and owners can also post an announcement that will create a pop-up message the next time the users enter the lobby. That's kind of cool. The most recent announcement can be reviewed at any time from the club lobby. Club badges. Our hope is that clubs can state that sl slays together stays together. To recognize the dedication of club members, we're releasing new badges that will demonstrate what your club is capable of of the battlefield. Okay, so they're the badges. Um, they look kind of cool, not going to lie. So basically you get these for being um, good in your crew. Or not crew. That's all we've got to share. This is just the beginning of clubs to let you know what you think. And we're happy and happy hunting. Okay, that is a lot. They had a lot to say about clubs here. Uh, let's actually che check the, uh, the news. Probably got a blog post on the map. Okay, it doesn't look like they've got a section on the... Um, map changes, or just the map in general. Okay, so that seems to be it. Not gonna lie, really excited for Season 7, dropping next Wednesday. If you really enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. If you really enjoyed, and I mean really, really, really enjoyed this video, want to keep up to date whenever I do another, another video, link in, not link in description, I'll get to that, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified. Also, my boy jboy 63 gaming has said, if he reaches 100 subscribers by Christmas 2020, he will start YouTube again. So if you guys want to see him on more videos and streams, link in the description, go sub to him. I'll also be starting a Minecraft series. So if you guys want to see Minecraft, what are you doing? Link in the description, go sub to him. you got until December. Time's running out. Also, shout out to my boy Chris. Just going to say that. Shout out to my boy Chris. No, no got no reason to say why. Shout out to Chris. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.